I already called Jesse about Mom's disappearance, and I talked to the police in St. Bart's. Call too. him back. Tell him you made a mistake. Tell him that he was a false arm. Tell him anything. But we cannot risk Erica's life by bringing the police in. I agree. Okay, so what then? Maybe if we can find out where this email came from, we can find Erica's kidnapping. Asher can help us with that. Yeah? Let's go. Okay, I'll stay here in case they call about a ransom. Keep me posted. We will. What changes? What what plans? Are you going to kill me? I wouldn't do that. I still need you. Hey. I, I got here as soon as I could. All this time. Oh, kidnapped. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what she's going through hey, right listen now. Listen to me, listen to me, all right? Mom found a way to call, okay? That means that she's fighting, all right? I know she's gonna be home in no time, okay? Asher, can you help us? Yeah, yeah, I should be able to pull something in a minute. All right, there's only three quarries in this area. If you can just narrow it down to one. Jack, you know, we're gonna have to be prepared for anything if we go in there. I know, we will be. All right, I just got something. Um, it's signal indicates that Erica's email came from just a few miles north of here. I've narrowed it down to a certain area, but... Perfect, that's... perfect. There's an abandoned quarry there. All right, let's go. Thanks, Asher. Yep, I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're gonna need my help if it gets dangerous. You're gonna need backup. No. You know, I can hack into the alarm system, and you guys can get in there. We need somebody on the outside in case something goes wrong, and I'm not gonna put you in danger. All right, fine. Good. If you need me. I know, I know. Thank you. Ah! Just the man I wanted to see. Quarterlies. Uh, there's something I gotta do. Something more important than your job? Caleb needs my help. Asher, I can't let you do that. Her baby has to stay inside. She's too little. You, you know, e even if for some reason they, they can't slow down the labor, I mean, premature babies are, are they're born all the time these days. Look at Ian. I Ian was extremely premature and he's doing great. He's running around like crazy. I can't even keep up with him. Why did I get in that car? I was so upset. All I could think about was... Okay, all right, all right. Just try, try to... Try not to think about that now, okay? Just just do your best to, to relax. Remember what the doctor said, okay? What are you doing? Statistics on premature labor. Survival rate, something that'll give Madison hope. Something positive she could hold on to. Computer printouts won't be able to fix this. Madison and that baby are the closest thing I've had to family since my father died. I mean, what am I going to do, sit here and wait? Can't do that. Especially since she won't even look at me. I'll be back. This morning, I was so happy. So happy dreaming about the baby and Scott and the life we would have. You can still have that life. Everything changed when David told me what Scott and Greenlee did. Everything I thought I knew. You, you do know. You know. You know. You have this baby. You love her. You love her more than anything, and she's going to love you. You know that? I do love her. I do so much. Oh, I was so angry. So angry, and I grabbed Greenlee. You grabbed Greenlee? When? When? I'm really tired. She's gonna be okay, right? Yeah, she's gonna be okay. You rest, okay? Hey, how is she? She's uh, sleeping. Good. Have you, have you seen Greenlee? Uh, she didn't say where she was going. Okay, I'm gonna check in with the doctor. Call me if Madison wakes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Were you born looking like that? Are you, are you a sister I didn't know I had? What's that? Not, not yet. What? What's going on? Jackson. Jack really is smart, huh? You two, you got something amazing. He picked up on that hint you dropped during the ransom message. I didn't hint at anything. You said the word quarry twice. You told Jack and the gang where you are, just like I thought you would. You set me up. I know you, remember? So you wanted me to tell them where I was. You want them to find me. Just didn't realize it would be so fast. That's love, I guess. Jack's here? He will be. Oh, man. I'm not ready for this. Not yet. I mean, all this hard work, and now... It's, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Look, Eric is in trouble, and I might be able to help, okay? You do realize that this could be dangerous. <laughs> you know, you sound exactly like Caleb right now. He didn't want me to do it either. Why would you help Caleb? The father who dumped you the second after you were born took off for 20 years never to look back. He had his reasons, okay? So you're going to defend him. <laughs> Even after he knew you were his son. I gave you a place to live. I gave you a job. Hell, I gave you a family. I never forgot that. And I'm grateful, but this is something that I need to do. Yeah, I could have told you that was going to happen. Mm Any clue where she is? Uncle Jack and Caleb are working on it. I, I know how scary this must be, but everything is gonna be all right, okay? I'm here for you. Whatever you need. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Thanks. Any news? Still waiting. Well, I've been on the phone. Scouting experts. Whatever it takes, whatever it costs, we'll fly them in from anywhere. We're going to make sure that Madison and the baby are okay. You saw Madison today before the accident? Yeah. I ran into her in the park. She just found out about Scott from David. Tell me what happened. She was obviously very upset. She didn't know what to believe. She went after you. I don't blame her. She was in shock. She needed to vent. And how did it end? End? Well, how did the confrontation end? She grabbed me, I pulled away, and I just left. You left. What is this, Ryan? Are you accusing me of causing her accident? Is that it?
because you've, you've, you've become like my family already, you know. I just, I, I want to make this right to you. Yeah. I want to, I want to give you and the baby the life that you, you dreamed of. I want to give you the life that you deserve. And then I can do that. I can do that, Madison, because I love you. This facility is huge. We should split up. No, you, you've got yourself on, right? I do. Right, you see anything, anything at all, Caleb, you call me. All right. What are you doing here? Thought you might need this. It tracks Wi-Fi and cell phone signals. I told you not to come. Do I ever listen to you? Hmm? All right, thanks. Come on. Jack! Jack, I'm here! He can't hear you. He's all the way up there. Up there? What are you talking about? Are we in, 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 a, in a basement then? A, a bunker? I can fix this. I'm ready. I can be ready. Ready for what? What is going on? What is it? You sure? All right, then we have to spring it. Spring what? What are you talking about? Your rescuers are too close for comfort. 